<clears throat> I've heard you talk about Apophis. Now, we just talked about uh, smaller asteroids. Uh, House-sized house asteroids. House-sized asteroids. Hitting the atmosphere, some if they are metal. Oh, by the way, I don't mean like Bill Gates-sized houses. They're like regular people houses. Regular people houses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they would, uh, some would break up, some being more bound tightly, or being more tightly bound would continue on. Yes. Now, with that in mind, how big would an asteroid like Apophis be? And since these house-sized asteroids would not wipe out Earth, what would be an extinction-level event? Ooh. Apophis, we know how big Apophis is. Oh, we do. So it's not how big Apophis would be, it's how big is it. It's about 300 meters across, and if you, if you sort of measure that out with a, a, a corresponding sizes of structures, it's about the size of the fully open Rose Bowl in, wow. in Pasadena. So the field plus all the seats. That would plunk nicely into that like an egg sits in an egg cup. Oh, yeah. So uh, that would, uh, if that hits, it would, uh, the most likely place it would hit would be the Pacific Ocean, and it would raise a 50-foot tsunami that would wipe clean the west coast of North America. Have a nice day. That's yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no one has to die because we, we would predict when this happens. We would know it. This is the good thing about the laws of physics. You can predict the future. Nice. Right, in ways that protect your life. Extend your life expectancy. Well, we can't say no one would die because there would be at least a handful of surfers who would say, "Stupid surfers, dude, I gotta do stupid it." Stupid surfers and stupid cameramen, no, stupid uh, weathermen, right? Who are trying to get the camera guy too close to the surf. <laughs> exactly. Two dead people in that. So you clear out the west coast and then you watch it happen, and it could be a, quite a spectacle. So that's not extinction level either. It's just very damaging. Uh -huh. Would do a trillion dollars worth of damage. We know the size of an asteroid that would do very bad things, and it's about a kilometer across, a little more than a half a mile across. That size asteroid would disrupt civilization. Gotcha. No, it won't leave us extinct, but it could take out, it could disrupt the food chain, the transportation channels, things that we rely on for modern living. Apocalypse. Yes, yeah, so we would need to rebuild what our modern culture of human life on Earth would be. And that would be about a kilometer. About a kilometer across, right. And you get to 10 kilometers, then you've got uh, a, a 10 kilometer size, you've got extinction level asteroid. And how big would have the, uh, the asteroid have been for the dinosaurs? Dinosaur was about the size of Mount Everest. Oh, yeah, so that's about 10 kilometers. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Now that's much smaller than Earth. And in the old days, we thought it would just leave a crater and you were just unlucky enough to be where the crater hit. Right. That, then, you know. But... We learned that the stuff it thrust into the atmosphere blocks the sun, cloaks the earth, knocks out the base of the food chain because because photosynthesis can't unfold, right. and, and, ex uh, and a wave of extinction percolates across the tree of life. There you go, people. Have a nice day. That's beautiful. Sleep well. <laughs> Sleep well. <laughs>